C++ is a programming language created in 1983 as an extension of the C language. So C++ allows hybrid programming. So what that means is so it allows high level programming, for example, object oriented programming, which is, for example, it allows to create classes, objects and the inheritance. And also it allows a low level programming, which means that it allows a memory control. So what are the main features of the C++? The probably the most important one is the performance and the efficiency. And for that, let's take an example. An example would be that, that the sum of the numbers from one to one million. So for example, the sum of the numbers from one to one million in the C++, it, the code would look like following. And if we run this code, it will take from one to five milliseconds to complete the code. Let's com compare the performance with the other languages. For example, in Python, the same code, it's, uh, uh, we write much less code for the Python, but uh, it would take from somewhere from 200 to 500 milliseconds to run the same code. It's mainly because of the dynamic typing and the interpreter. How about Java? In Java, the same code, it would take from 10 to 20 milliseconds because of the JVM overhead. So that's the first one, the, the most important feature. The, what's the, what are the other ones? The other one is that the cross-platform compatibility, so which means that the C++ can run seamlessly on different platforms from embedded systems to cloud infrastructure. The next one is the community and ecosystem. It has active community. For example, it has the uh, set of libraries or frameworks, for example, Boost libraries or Qt framework and also a legacy code base, a lot of applications, they are written in the C++, many critical systems, and, and they are still rely on the C++. What are the main use cases for C++? The first one is that probably is gaming. For example, Unreal Engine and other major game engines are built in C++. And the next one is AI and the machine learning. Performance, uh, performance critical components written in C++, for example, PyTorch, or let's say that the TensorFlow, the, the performance critical part of it is written in C++. The next one is embedded systems. It's um, widely used in IoT devices. And uh, probably the last one is a finance, for example, uh, high performance trading platforms is usually written in C++.